Hello, you guys. Up. <laughs> so we begin our video with Chris. Hello. He doesn't have a channel. That's good, also. And this video is about um, prediction of winners and dark horses. Why is it dark horses and not white horses? Because they come out of the shadow in the light of Eurovision. Good explanation. Boring. So, tell me, <laughs> let's start immediately, like there's yes. so much intro to let's do. Let's go. You have to tell me first who is your, I mean, we have here in front in the PC the odds also to see, because we're not going only according to the odds. We are saying personally who do you think really could win, not from favorites or anything. I have done videos about my favorites and predictions of semifinals. But this is about who do you think from watching Eurovision so many years, this year could be potential winner. Say one. I go with Switzerland. I knew it. This is also your number one. <laughs> Why am I not allowed to go with favorites? <laughs> yeah, but it, it is my number one and it will be. But it is I a potential with a yeah. I think it can potentially win. I think the song is great. They will sing amazingly. If we see the TikToks and the Instagram where he's like doing the riffs, it's it sounds great. I think vocally it's gonna be amazing. The song is great. The only thing I wonder, like, how is the staging going to be? We don't know. We don't know. That's this why we are just potentially saying winners, because we don't know who will disappoint and who will not disappoint. But this could be the key. It could be. So I say, yeah, Switzerland is definitely, for me, also a potential winner. Another one potentially winning is also Netherlands. Yes. And Europa Pa. Because and this I can German see... lyrics. No. Uh, this I can see also like a potentially winning the televoting. This is a song that I don't know how it will do on the jury, but it could win the televoting with 500 views, 400 uh, views, oh, points, and to really win the televote because yes. he's going super viral in so many countries and it's like potentially winning also. But I think also for jury because he's so hyped already that like there's no way that the jury members don't get anything of this hype yeah. yet and this will influence it's a great song it has like the best beat in the song yeah. in Eurovision this year and he's just very charismatic so he is I and it has a message all of this about his <coughs> parents and his dad this is making it even sweet I don't know how by how much now the people the outside of the Eurovision bubble people will get the message I hope they'll get it but from this, from potentially winning Televori, we go to the next one that I think that potentially could win Jury, and that's Sliman from France. He's amazing. I saw yes. him yesterday in Italy, the video that he sang the song again, and this is, this is potentially winning Jury votes. This, yes. this could get so many Jury votes, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, all the time from the juries. I could see it happening for Sliman. It's very classical French song. He has amazing vocals. The He will probably have this moment where he steps back from the microphone and sings. This yeah, has, a, has a great um, climax. So yeah, he for sure get many jury points and he will also get telepoints. Yeah. More than last year probably. And what else do you think about which else? There are so many potential winners but I would also go with Italy. Italy I love. I mean, we La have... Noia. La Anoia. La um, We have a woman since... Since when? Ah, oh, since know many her. years. Since I don't many know. years. I think people will reward that. She is amazing. She performs great. They will she, add something... The song is also great. To great, the staging. Great. This will be... Great. Very much rewarded. I'm pretty sure. And I think she can win. Why she not? could win, she could win. And this is a song that could get televoting a lot and also juries. Definitely. And we know that she can perform and sing because like, yes, we saw her live in San Remo several times. Um, and yeah, 
We go also for Croatia. This is the general number one in the odds with 21%. This is like the song since it's out, everybody's jumping on the train, offering him Tiki Dam, Tagi Dam, Tagi Dim. <laughs> it's not the song. Rim, it's Tim, Rim. Tagi Dim. Yeah, because it's standing there. No, but I said it's not. Yes! <laughs> but what uh, most of it concerns me is the staging. Because I am concerned about the staging. But I could see yes. taking televoting. This is this with Netherlands mm -hmm. could go for televoting a lot. Definitely. I mean the song clicked with the community and with everybody and it can click with the main people watching Eurovision. The question is like from the live performances we've seen yet, is it like this wow, like you are captivated to this performance and yeah. this is maybe somehow still lacking and I really hope they find the key moment to make this yeah. work a bit better. And I go just to mention very quickly also Lithuania and Austria for me, those two countries like quickly mentioning because I think that, like they are also personal favorites but I do think also that if Austria has this amazing because Kalin can sing can dance a lot. She's very known in Eurovision yes. bubble, and I think that this could be the pop song of the year and win it all. Definitely, win it all. But also Norway could win it. Like when Norway yeah. came out, it was okay. It's not so high in the odds anymore. It's now how much? I don't know. They're fourteenth. Yeah. But it's like still, it's like an amazing, extraordinary song. Yeah. So. People are not talking so much about it. But For me personally, something that we haven't talked is also potential winner. A lot of people maybe don't agree from Europe, but potential winner could be also Greece. Of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Germany could be no, the potential. Uh, but uh, Greece also could be potential winner. Um, but let's end it here because we if we managed to send now not to say now 10, 10 countries on thirty seven. This is not working. We keep it to Italy, Croatia, Netherlands, Sweet France, Switzerland. Switzerland. Yes. How much? Five. That's fine. It's a strong year. It's a very strong year. And now we, you go and but start. Wait, one question. Do you think the winner this year will win, will be the winner of the Taylor and the Jury? Or will be like winner no, of I one? No, I think it will be very divided. I have a feeling that the winner won't win jury nor teller. No, me neither. I think that it will be very divided. Like, for example, Italy could go like to be the second third second. or second in the televoting, third or second in the jury, then she wins. And then we go to Turin. Maybe. I hope we don't go to Turin. I hope we go to another city. <laughs> never been to Turin. So, um, now we go to the dark horses or white horses. So tell me your first dark white horse that you think that <laughs> is not so much liked, but it could do very well in Eurovision. My dark white grey horse is gonna be Bambi Thug. I know ah, she is, ah. I know they're praised for being like uh, Ireland is taking a risk, Ireland is doing something different, but nobody sees it as a potential winner. And I think from what we saw on this TV show national yeah, final. The talk show. They already put it like such a good staging. It so delivered, captivated the people. This now on big stage, I think they will make even more improvement yeah. in the whole staging. I wonder how they're gonna do this quick changes between the moods that's yeah. in the song, but they will you can use a lot of lights, they will have like maybe a prop that's supporting it. So okay, I you think know. it. Can, I'm talking to the. Yeah, end. you're talking way too much only because you also like the song. But I agree, Ireland is a uh, dark, dark horse. Like I it could so. do so good in televoting that people are just tired of watching well concept of songs and they just watch Bambi Thang and they think like this is What's what Eurovision happening? is for me. Yes, yeah, exactly. So I go to a uh, potential to a uh, not potential but dark horse which is Georgia. And I think that she could do well, very good. Like she could, if she performs yes. the firefighter good on the staging, because vocals she can do, 
the so I really think that maybe Georgia does way better than I don't know here it shows seventeenth in the odds. Yes, definitely. I mean it's powerful song and the power she delivers in the video clip where she's like dancing as hell and like yeah. singing as hell. If she can do this like three minutes on stage, this would be amazing. This yeah. would like wow you so much. Um but can you dance like this and sing like this for she three can. minutes? She can. Nuta can do that. Probably, yes. And probably the other dark horse for you is Serbia, right? Serbia. Lila um. Romanda. <laughs> you didn't like it at the, not, we not didn't didn't like it at the beginning when it came out, but now the more <clears> and more <throat> you listen to it, you like it more and more. I had other favorites from this national final, yeah. true, but I, overcome, I overcame now my disappointment. And it has something, it's like the staging on the National was already made for Eurovision. No. It looked amazing. I think this kind of song many people can also vote for. Maybe, I don't know, is it Judy Bait? Is it Taylor Bait? It's hard to say. But it I could think be she both. Can, she can captivate, definitely. She can, and it's like a Balkan ballad. It's in Serbian. People always appreciate Serbia with going with Serbian lyrics and it is captivating. Already in the national final what she did was amazing. The so in Malmo great. it could get only better, like even better. Yes. And the vocals she has, yes. this is like for sure there. Definitely. But I'll say a poten like a dark horse, it's also Finland for me. Because I <coughs> hear and see on Twitter and everywhere how people don't jump on the tray of Finland, there are few and yes. I think that at the end of the day it could happen that Finland takes more points than Netherlands and whatever there you have because it's fun, it's funny, it's a concert, it's denim and it's shorts, very short shorts it's denim. and we will love that, I love that and I love the song Definitely. But I don't see it as a personal uh, matter. I do think that Finland could do way better than being outside of the top 20. Yes. They could end up being... Really, really, they could end up really, uh, being really? like 6th, 7th, 4th, why not? So you're allowed to say one more. This one? I mean, you like it a lot. I want to say Albania and I can say Albania. You can say Albania. I love Bessa very much. I love the Albanian version. I like the English version. I would love her to rap in Albanian still. Maybe she can mix it. Um, sing in English, rap in Albanian. This would be awesome. She reminds me of Samantha Tina. I don't know why. And I'm, I'm a bit... Is she called like this? Yeah. 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 And I'm really afraid she the will... Queen of the night is come. Yeah. Um, I didn't know where to put the mic because she was holding it all yeah, the time yeah. like that. Um, but I hope she will qualify. And maybe she will surprise, yeah. She could be that course, I'm telling you. Bessa looks like she's really going all in. Yeah, she's she always surprise. answering the questions, she also answering on Twitter. She loves Greece. Super supportive, I think. She's I like supportive, Greece. yeah. Now I just see it and I don't know, but Australia. I know it's not, a, it's not a you know, talked country, but I think it's like, I wouldn't be surprised if they, because it's not a bad song and we have so many outstanding crazy things that I think people maybe also like to lean back and listen to a just chilled number like Australia or Germany. Okay, enough talking now, uh, because you mentioned a lot of countries already. I mentioned the last one, which is like a really dark course. And for me, it's Slovenia and Veronica Raven. I, I am personally obsessed with her, but I don't understand why in the old she's 24th. For me, it doesn't make any sense because it's like super original and it's super captivating. And I believe that Raven will be standing there in Malmo in the semi-final. People will watch it and people from Germany, from all those countries that don't speak like Slovenian, they would be like, okay, this I like, it's different, it's like, and people will vote. I really think that she could get jury points and be there in the top 10. I don't know. 
But that's it. We because if we keep talking, we'll keep talking about <laughs> way too many countries. Because we didn't say anything about Belgium and he's still sixth in the odds. Yes. And he's very high and he's also a favorite to win. In the odds he's after Netherlands, Musti, and he is also a dark horse if you see it like this. But I don't see it potentially winning. No. For example, honestly I don't see it potentially winning. Let's see, it's just, it's hard to say. I mean we do those predictions now before like rehearsals and we didn't yeah. hear all of them live so there will be a lot of changes another country that is like really jury would vote for it and this is the last one that i can mention is portugal grito she's like she is the vocals of it and she's 30 seconds in the odds this i don't understand Mm -hmm. this is way too down she's behind germany but um yeah i think countries like germany and portugal Honestly, Germany too, I could see them doing so much better than being 30, 30th or 32nd. Like, yeah, this is way too down for them. I mean, that's also a good part. We had our like five, six predictions for the win. Yeah. And like everybody else could be a dark horse. <laughs> that speaks for a very strong year. It's but, but it speaks for a very strong year. I mean, who the real dark horse is? gonna be we'll see after the rehearsals where the same is yeah. you see like which is because what is they working, immediately you can see who is like going high I and high and will, high but if everybody is very good then i don't know anymore yeah then you have only dark horses uh we can make a style style what is style in Ger- in english a barn a barn of horses from all the countries and they White, can compete black gray and every color in between and we are betting on them here. They are betting on them. We should bet this year. I don't bet on Germany. I would bet on Germany at the end. He comes top five and I become millionaire. That's it. Good. You can tell me on the comments what your dark horses are and what you agree with and what you don't agree with. And keep it simple. Keep it real. Don't comment only because it's your country. Comment for real taste. What is? Look at him. He's from Germany. He did. He did say for Germany, but didn't mention it as a potential winner. So keep it real. What do you really think could win? And don't mention only your country. Am I too strict? I was. Yeah. Too why? Why do you end this? I don't know. We could have ended with such a positive vibe. Okay. Cheer. Pause. Pause. You're awful.